cruise news. One cruise line has closed their private island. And there were three shootings at two other island destinations. Lots of cruise news. I'm going to get you the top 10 updates from across the cruise industry. And I'm going to get you the information fast. Coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and kick things off with number one, a small tourist boat sank in Cozumel, Mexico on Friday afternoon. The small boat was only meters away from the docked Harmony of the Seas cruise ship at the time. Reports are that the sinking was due to a failed bilge pump on the vessel. The boat took on water quickly and capsized, dumping all eight of its passengers into the sea. Fortunately, all eight people were rescued and there were no major injuries. The situation is currently under investigation. Number two, Princess Cruises is teaming up with Florida's Brightline train system for a new rail and sail program. The program will enable Princess Cruise passengers to receive a discount of up to 15% when using Brightline. They also offer an express luggage service where you check your luggage at the train. The luggage handlers then ensure that your luggage is checked at the port and arrives at your stateroom. The cost for the luggage service is $35 per bag. Moving on to number three, the CDC has placed seven Caribbean nations on their dengue watch list. Dengue is a virus that is spread to people by bites from infected mosquitoes. The Caribbean nations that I'm about to share with you have been placed on the CDC's watch list because they are currently reporting higher than normal numbers of dengue cases. The seven countries are on the screen right now. The CDC is encouraging visitors to these destinations to take precautions to prevent mosquito bites. Next, number four, Viking Cruises has officially filed for its IPO to become a publicly traded company. Viking has a large fleet that offers ocean, river, and expedition cruises. And their IPO filing revealed a lot of data regarding the company. For example, both their capacity and revenue has grown considerably in recent years. And the company reported a revenue of $7,251 per passenger for 2023. However, the company is still not profitable. Regarding the IPO, Viking has not yet announced how many shares they will be offering or what they will be priced at. Stay tuned for updates. Then number five, Canard Line is about to increase their gratuity rates. The new rates will go into effect for sailings that depart on or after April 26th. For passengers staying in suites, the charge will go from $16.50 per person per day to $18 per person per day. For guests that are staying in non-suites, the charge will go from $14.50 to $16 per person per day. Okay, we have five cruise news pieces remaining, including the top headlines of the day, but it is time for our fast mid-show check-in. In the last video, I asked you how you typically prefer to book your cruises. We received input from more than 2,000 of you. And here are the results. 35% of you said that you typically book through a travel agent or advisor, while 65% of you said that you book by yourself via phone or website. Thanks for your input, and I loved your comments as well. Here's the question for today. This occurred to me while thinking about the Brightline train system story earlier in the show, and here's the question. If you fly to your cruise embarkation port, what type of transportation do you typically take in order to get to your cruise ship? Do you typically take A, a taxi, B, an Uber, or C, a shuttle service? Chime in down below with what you typically take. Would love to know any thoughts that you have as well, but now on with the cruise news. Number six, Celebrity Cruises has announced that they will be adding more short cruises for the 2025-2026 season. Sailing from Port Everglades, the Celebrity Reflection cruise ship will be offering three and four night sailings to the Bahamas. Meanwhile, their Celebrity Summit cruise ship will be offering four and five night sailings to Key West and Mexico. The Celebrity Summit will be cruising from Port Everglades as well. Number seven, Juno, Alaska is in talks with cruise lines to implement more cruise visitor limits beginning in 2026. Juno and the cruise lines have conceptually agreed to add in a new limit with a 2026 start date. However, the exact numbers for the limit have not yet been specified. Among other things, Juno is seeking to make Saturdays their least congested day of the week. More to come. Stay tuned for updates. Then in sad news, number eight, violent strikes near the cruise port at St. Kitts. Three were shot and two were killed. The first of two shootings took place at the ferry terminal where one 33-year-old man was killed. Here is a photo I took at St. Kitts in February. The ferry terminal is a relatively short distance from where you go ashore. 
And two hours after this first shooting, a masked gunman walked into a bar and shot two more locals, killing one. St. Kitts is another port where you will want to consider staying in the secure port area or booking an excursion with the cruise line or a reputable excursion company. Next, number nine, there has been a mass shooting in Nassau, Bahamas. This took place approximately one mile south of the cruise terminal. Six local men were shot, ranging in age from 16 to 44 years old. Like the St. Kitts shooting, this took place on Sunday as well. The gunman is still on the loose in Nassau. It is reported that multiple of the victims are out on bail for their own crimes, including attempted murder and manslaughter. This indicates that it was very possibly another gang-on-gang -gang strike, something that is happening in Nassau, and you need to be aware of it. The commonly stated rule of thumb for Nassau is that for your safety, you want to stay north of Shirley Street. Shirley Street is approximately one to two blocks south of the cruise port. The State Department even states this in the opening sentence of their travel advisory for the nation due to the gang violence and homicide rate on the south side. Of course, when there is a large gang strike such as this one, there is always the possibility of retaliation, something you need to be aware of if you are visiting Nassau this week. Then, number 10, MSC Cruises has closed their private island in the Bahamas called Ocean K. The island's closure begins this week and it will remain closed through May 22nd. More than 30 MSC cruises had to be adjusted. During the next month and a half, the island will be going through a major renovation. There will be new food options, water sports, island tours, diving, snorkeling, and more. The island is currently scheduled to reopen on May 23rd. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video, it'll be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.